Ayan, good morning everyone. Kakasimula lang natin. Ang dami ng chat. Ayan, very good. Um, good morning to uh, Joel. Uh, first of all, good morning to my daughter, Laika. Hello, Laika. Good morning. And everyone, Joel Garas, good morning. Sir Lloyd and Laika. Bullen Bear, good day everyone. Ayan. Um, today we're gonna be talking about PSCI. Bakit ang bagal ng PSCI? Ang liit ng foreign buying and selling kay PSCI. Uh, yesterday, just 1 billion. I believe that's 1 billion lang. So, hindi nakaambot ng... Usually, that's around 4 billion, 3 billion, di ba? So, we are one-fourth, if not one-third of that. So, napakalit ng volume. Why? Why? What happened? Um, actually, it's a worldwide market. They're still scared. Um, umaangat na naman yung scare about the trade wars. Kaya, yun, unti-unti na ang mga nag invest Um, But, the good thing is that PSEI, kahit pula si PSEI yesterday, it held on to that support. So that's a good sign, right? There's buying already. Kasi mura na naman yung ano natin eh. Mura na naman yung mga positions. Yan. So before that, before we really discuss about that, let me read the greetings. And if you have any requests sa mga chart natin ngayon, um, please post it in the comments. I'll be posting my picks today. Marami dito is ang mga, uh, mga safety picks. Right? So, yun. Um, marami dyan safety picks. But, yeah. Let's talk about them in a while. Um, I'm gonna be reading your comments and your, ano, pasensya na if wala gaanong life today kasi nasakit ng ulo ko actually. But, anyways, uh, tuloy pa rin ang, uh, what do you call this? Tuloy pa rin ang uh, daily grind. Alright. Um, Hardinero Rex, good morning. Erika, Erika Liwa, good morning then. Renulfo for us as my buntag coach lords is IRC okay na kaya today. Uh, let's talk about that. Yan, because IRC has been going down kahit kahapon din, ba? So, tatlong solid red. Let's check out Fibonacci ngayon. Let's, let's see if reversal ba or it's still okay. Anyways, it's still above ME20. So, if we use Bollinger Band, I think I still think it's okay. And Evangeline Velasco, good morning, Sir Lloyd and Laika and traders. Good morning sa inyo. Rain, Jeyo, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Tanong ko lang, Sir. Ano mangyayari sa stock kapag na-delisted sa market? Meron kasi nabili sa MRP. Yan. Si MRP, um, if it's a voluntary delisting, usually bibilhin nila yung stocks nila pabalik with, um, um, what they call this, uh, very good question, um, with their real value, yung more or less fair value nila. Diba? So this happened, don't worry about that. This happened to, what they call this, this happened to, Was that EDC? Let me share my screen with you guys. Especially kay, kay Rain Jeyo, EDC. Right. Look at this right here. Let me share my screen. Ayun, baliktad pala ang ginawa ko. Dapat dito yung screen. Ayan. So, sorry about that. So, I had to fix things. Um, ayan, opening the screen na. So, this is... Uh, uh, this is uh, to answer Rain Jeyo, yan. So, if it's a voluntary listing, i-announce ia nila if magkano nila bibilhin. In this case, si EDC, I forgot magkano yung bibilhin nila. It's around 7.5 man siguro yun, or 8. It's around this area right here. So, um, this was the date that when they announced it and look at what happened. Binili na ng mga gustong bumili kasi mas ma- makikita naman sila kahit ilang percent lang dyan sa taas. So, umaangat siya, ba? So, that's good. Um, kahit naman, ano, kahit naman, um, what they call this, kahit naman forced delisting, um, if ever man, ang ris- uh, their fair value is very small, there's a chance na aakit pa rin yung stocks nila. Um, don't worry about the listing. Um, hindi na, nasa inyo para naman yung stocks ninyo. Um, the, co- the company will be buying it back. So, no worry. You can still cash it out. Right? So, yun. Porque, um, um, mahirap lang is if ever um, pangit talaga yung rason ng pagkadilis nila or pasara na sila. Yun yung pangit, ba? But still, don't worry. Um, bibilhin pa rin naman ng company yung stocks nila but at a lower, at a lower price nga lang. So, that's the, ba- the bad side of it. Um, yun, that's to answer Rain Jo. Oh, very good question. Addison C. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Uh, tam, hindi naman lahat pare-pares na situation. Eh. But yung mangyayari sa, kay MRP, um, voluntary delisting naman yun. I haven't read the, uh, what do you call this? I haven't read the uh, disclosure yet. Pero if ever mas mahal yung bili nila, I think, ano, um, mamahal din ang presyo nila. That's why you saw MRP's uh, price go up. Because, 
I think mahal yung pagbili din nila kaya bumili, oh no, um, umakyat siya. So, CMRP mo, it's up to you. If you want to go through the hassle of um, going to the company and selling uh, selling their companies directly to them, you can do that. Mas malaki ang kikitain mo. But if you don't want to go through that hassle, just sell it now to those who are willing to do to go through that hassle. Right? So, yan. Binibili na lang 7.04. At least win-win kayo, di ba? So, that's, uh, that's a sell for me, actually. Yan. Um, Tomo Sinini, good day billionaires, all the way from Malabon. Yan. Sir, tuloy-tuloy downtrend since last month. Yeah, yung PSE. Not really downtrend si PSE. Um, umakit naman siya. There was a reversal already. Uh, that was last uh, July. Di ba? Nag-start yung reversal. Um, but yeah, um, pababa pa rin si... Oh no, when was that? Uh, PSE. Ay, when nag-start yung reversal? And June, June pa lang, June 26, di ba? So right now, we're on a sideways trend naman kay PSEI. Just that, it broke support and that's a bad sign. So let's wait for the bounce. Um, so far naman si PSEI um, doing sideways. Uh, let's talk about that more in a month. Daran Boa, Mind Buntag, Sir Lord. Cheers. Good morning. Honey Big Ding. Good morning, Coach and Laika. IDC and IRC, please. Uh, let's write that down. IDC and IRC. And si IRC, and dyan naman si IDC. Yeah, good win kahapon kay IDC. Nga pala, kay food. Ayan, we talked about food uh, a few days back when it was still at MA20. Right? I recommended food dito sa MA20. You see you see the reason why I like food, di ba? Um, I've been sell- telling this before. Food has very good ano, uh, projection. Gumaganda ang fundamentals niya. Kaya yun, umaakyat. Now, this is similar to ABBA. That's why I'm recommending ABBA. Kasi ganun din, maganda ang projections kay ABBA. And, yun, so be there while it's early. And yung ginalaw ni food ngayon, that's because of the good, fun, uh, the improving fundamentals when we called it here at this area. We called it at MA20 again. And look at that, beautiful bounce at MA20. Now, it held on to MA20. Kapon, we discussed about it, but I was still shaky. But I did say, still buy as long as this. Uh, you can use MA20 as your support, di ba? Uh, this was the best position right here, but that wasn't bad because if you went in yesterday, look at that, 15% kay food. So congratulations sa mga pumasok. Also kay PLC, this is why I love MA20. Look at that, we had a confirmation. This is a signal that you buy at MA20 and if pumasok kayo, there it is. So napakagandang panalo kay PLC. Alright, so let me go back to PSEI and... Uh, sa mga comments nyo muna before we continue with the discussion. Asan ako? Yan. From Honey Kabigting. Yan. So, let's talk about that. Mark Cortez, good morning, Sir Lloyd. And to your family, thank you. And f- insights po with Seb and Meg, please. Yan. Si Seb, nag-green na kahapon eh, and, and Meg din. Alright. So, let's see kung pwede na bang pasukin. Alright. Eisenbert Ochanko, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Uh, Sir Lloyd, and like a bloom, may pag-asa pa po ba yan? Uh, if you're in the chat room yesterday, I shouted at Bloom early on the day na cut loss na ako kay Bloom and I did cut cut my losses and then yun, after that, bumagsak grabe si Bloom. So, yun, um, let's talk about Bloom in a while. Right, Evangeline Velasco, Sir Win po, PLC, and Popey po. Okay, so, Win and PLC, let's talk about PLC still, and Popey. And si Popey, um, bumabagsak kapon but nag-recover naman. So, that's good. Alan Ibarbia, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Abba, please, thanks. Yan, si Abba, andyan pa rin naman sa list ko lagi. Right, just buy on the dips. Pag dips na sinasabi ko, wag habang bumabagsak ang stock. Just buy more when it bounces. The, the fundamentals of this company is getting better and better. Yan, so pwede natin abangan yan talaga. Arjel Mendoza, um, Sir Lloyd, uh, good morning. Sir Lloyd, um, STI po, BDO, and JFC, STI. STI, BDO, and si BDO, bumagsak pa rin, right? And anyway, it's long-term naman kasi kay B, uh, BDO. Laka na natalo ko kay BDO, grabe. But I don't really consider this as a loss, but an opportunity to buy more. Anyways, kung long-term ka, you have to add more to that position. Right? Um, long-term meaning years. Yeah, you're looking at the long-term. Right. Rex Hardinero, um, sir, any thoughts on Vol? Hold pa din po ba? Thank you so much. Let's talk about Vulcan. Right. So, Vulcan and Jan. Asa na tayo? Um, that was... Um, that was Rex. Jose Marie Tuason. Oops. Nawala. 
Ayan. Jose Marie Tuazon, good morning sir. Meg RCB po. Ayan, si Meg, andyan na. Si RCB. Ayan. RCBC, sorry. RCBC. JR, Grandmaster. Um, Master Lloyd. <laughs> Master Lloyd. Uh, may alam ka po bang backdoor ni Converge ICT? Vul, XCPG, STR po. Si Vul ang possible nila na backdoor. But, um, they're working on their IPO naman eh. So, yeah, uh, we can't really tell. Pero yan yung isa sa reason bakit umakit si Vul. So, let's talk about that also. XCPG and STR. XCPG and STR. I was talking to someone last uh, yesterday. Uh, without, with the theory pa rin <laughs> na si PTNT yung nagdadala ng ano, more, more or less formalities. This is my bias, okay? Um, it's really funny. The coincidence is really, uh, the coincidences are really funny na every time may bad news si PTNT, may bad news din about delays na lumalabas. So, I think hinihintay lang talaga nila si PTNT na pumasok. And talking about PTNT, may disclosure sila today, which is very good. Ayun, na they're officially out of rehab at last. So, that's amazing and then mag AASM na sila and anytime soon they're gonna be out right? hopefully we can uh, we can play into it pero I doubt na madaling pumasok dyan it will be very hard um, sa simula lang kasi I don't think the holders are after they've been holding for so so long ibibenta nila and kung magbibenta man sila ibibenta lang mataas yan diba? at least kalahat eh. But if I was the investor, I've held on to it for very long na hindi gumagalaw. Why sell it now na umaakit pa siya, di ba? So, I, mahirapan talaga ito pumasok dyan. So, tendency niya, the scenario is, the possible scenario is MRC, uh, it will uh, it will fill out uh, to uh, yung, hindi fill out, yung aagos yan. The buyers will just ten, uh, tend to go to MRC instead, which is uh, M, uh PTNT is possible backdoor. Yan. Um, ang nga pala guys, uh, a little request, uh, please share the video to your Facebook walls. Konting request ko lang yan. I hope I've earned that request. Um, this is so that more and more Filipinos will know about this program um, para mat- ma-steer natin nila yung, uh, what do you call this, um, yung interest nila when it comes to the stock market. Let's let them know that there are programs like this which will guide them. Pakita natin how, how we are gaining already in the stock market. Para mas maraming Pinoy ang pumasok, that will be beneficial to us and it will also help me greatly in return. Alright, so I hope I've earned that request. Thank you so much for sharing the video. Um, asan ako? Yan. Richard Kamiko, good morning, sir. Uh, S- uh, still SSI hold 1.31. Yeah, SSI, still a hold for me. Um, maganda ang uh, the fundamentals of the company is getting better and better, especially after the acquisition of Shake Shack. If you don't know that yet, please research about it. It's a big company. It's a big startup here sa Philippines. Sila mauuna, diba? So, that's very good. Hipster Tripster, good morning, sir. Lloyd PHA. M H A and or thanks po sa food. <laughs> You're welcome sa food. Uh, good job. Enjoy your earnings kay food. Um, hanap na naman tayo ng entry sa susunod and especially saan sa MA20 na naman, di ba? So, um, I would sell half already kay food. Let the other half ride. If ever it breaks MA20, um, just sell the other half on your, uh, what they call this, on your uh, saan yan, sa what do you call this, at your purchase price if ever it goes further down. But I think food is gonna be like Annie. We just talked about Annie yesterday. I was I was saying na pa-breakout na si Annie and it did break out. So good job sa mga na kay Annie. Right. Um, Jeffer- uh, Jefferson, uh, lang ha, if, let me see if na na copy paste ko ba ito yon so Jefferson Capacio NRCP Sir Lloyd yun si NRCP lang araw ko na recommend I'm still recommending NRCP now to um but yeah it was tatlong araw na yan na pataas na pataas Marshallo good morning um Mon F good morning din Jovi Tanael good morning sir and everyone <clears throat> Norgin Ramos good morning sir Kellen's Dagger my buntag Sir Lloyd and Laika uh, Gilbert Velas good morning sir Lloyd can you give your insights with BDO and other banks as well so um BDO right now is on a strong downtrend pa rin. um but don't worry about this usually it's a shocking ano it's a shocking ano uh what do you call this it's a shocking news especially to investors as oh those who are investing into banks now um but right now bdo's downtrend is slowing down right 
it's slowing down naman eh. It's showing us a support. Let me show my, uh, share my screen. Ayan. So, this is video. Pumagsak kahapon. But, ayan, then again, <clears throat> it's already sh slowing down. We have a bounce right here. And, yun, um, pataas na naman yung RSI niya and pataas na yung supports niya. So, that's a good sign for BDO. Na anytime soon pa, aakit na yan. But, we can't really tell. I, if naipit kayo ng malaki, I don't want you to catch these bottoms right here. Right? Ang, ang tendency kasi sa mga new business, pag naipit ka dito, maghahanap ng support and buy more and look at what happened, bum, bumagsak pa, di ba? So, only buy more on a clear reversal, right? If we see a reversal, a slow uptrend here or mabreak niya MA20, that will be a good sign to buy more. Just wait for the retracement and then that's when you buy more para sulit yung pagbabay more ninyo kay video. Hindi yung buy more kay dito at tapos babagsak na naman, magbabay more na naman kayo but we've already reached that RSI peak right there. Uh, uh, RSI bottom right there. So that's those are these are good signs for video. So after that, magsasubside naman yung shock about inflation. People will always adjust and yun, once that has adjusted uh, ano um, there's a big chance na angat and, and look at this right here. Uh, this trend of BDO, long-term trend niya. Let's plot the long-term trend. Right. Yan. So, yun yung long-term trend niya. Kaka-break lang ng support niya. We were expecting it for it to bounce at that support right there. As long as it broke that down. Ay, nga pala. I, I missed this though. Let's see. May na-miss tayo na baba. Ayan. Bagsak pa rin. <laughs> it still broke that uh, it still broke that support right there but it's forming a new support now i don't want to inject hope sa inyong trading as that's bad kasi if someone tells you oh may pag-asa pa yan na mag bounce hindi kayo magka-cut loss niyan if you're trading it then cut your losses already if you need to cut your losses all right um if you are into long term naman don't no need to fear about it dapat mag celebrate kayo kasi it's on a super sale right now napakamura ng presyo ni BDO right so really uh that's why that's the reason why i always recommend for you to uh define clearly what your purpose of your entry in the stock is pag ang purpose niyo is really to enter it as a trader then you should cut your losses. Plan B is always cutting your losses. Hindi plan B maging investor ako. No, don't do that, right? But if you're in it as a as an investor for long term, pwede naman, right? Just average down on a clear reversal. So that's for BDO. Banks naman somehow um grabe na eh. Mang, ang mura na ng mga banks eh. So uh, anytime soon that should recover already. Uh, brilliant encore my buntag Sir Lloyd Vita, please. Salamat. Uh, let's talk about Vita in a bit. Ayan. Um, John Luis Manalo, good morning. Akala ko mansano eh. <laughs> right? Good morning po sir. Uh, Pasite po kay Primex at SSI. Ayan. Let's write down Primex si SSI. Andiyan naman yan sa uh, bagger picks natin. Upuan lang natin muna yan. Just buy on the dips. Um, Martial Law, okay na po ba yung confirmation ni MPI? Yes, that's why MPI is in my pick today. Ayan. Good morning, X Meg, please. Ayan si X and Meg, and si Meg nandiyan naman sa lista, so let's go through that later. <clears throat> Ellie Flores, excuse me muna. Love, please go water. Right, so I'm back. We're back. Is everything okay? And Asa na ako? And Erwin Asidilio, maing buntag Sir Lloyd, kamusta si ATN? Sir, I'm recommending ATN again today. Kasi maganda yung entry niya. It's forming a support. Nag-doji siya kahapon. Let's talk about that in a while. Right, Re Little Retail. Good morning, sir. Your thoughts on TBGI. Latest disclosure, please. Yes, um, I read about the disclosure of TBGI early this morning. Uh, it's about uh, them borrowing money from ATN. Because ATN is mayaman as ATN. And I told you guys, ATN is already has already been doing strong lately. That's why I'm all into ATN for long term. Excuse me. Um, yan, hiniraman nila ng pera sa ATN for investments para sa telco ventures. Nila. That's good. That's Those are good fundings for ATN. That means that TBGI is doing something uh in the future. That's good for TBGI. Magandang sig sinyales yan for uh, a company that is uh, gonna be alive in the coming years. Diba? So, magandang pasukin si uh, TBGI. Let's talk about TBGI's price action in a while. Right, sulat ko si TBGI. Um, 
Christian Joseph Miko, good morning Sir Lloyd BDO po. It's already in the list. Let's talk about that in a bit. Desiree Juan, good morning Sir Lloyd and Laika. Tags BDO, um, APS and ATN. Yan si Tags. Very good question. Um, BDO, APX and ATN. Yan. Si Armando naman, asking about ISM. Yan, si ISM nandyan pa rin yan. Buy on the dips kay ISM lang. Meg, PHA and now. Ayan, si PHA nasa lista pa rin yan. Si now, eto si now. Um, we are, I'm waiting for the stabilization kay now because this is one of my favorite na mga technical analysis talaga. Um, Yo Hadiv, good morning Sir Lloyd from Davao. Yun. Um, good morning sa mga kapatid natin na sa Davao. MS, SMPH, BPI. Ayan, nasa lista yung dalawang yan. Ha? SMPH, yan. Si SMPH is already good to enter. BPI. And ALI, nasa lista ko yan lahat, yung tatlong yan. So, yan. Aaron, OR M and MHC, sir. Si OR, andyan naman yan sa lista natin. Si OR, I think OR is gonna do a breakout today. Uh, it's sitting at the resistance. And we'll talk about that in a while. Michael, Louis, Lim, CLC, sir, and STR. CLC, STR. May, may lumabas na news kay CLC, ha? It, not really sure what that was, but that was something about uh, reviving the shipping uh, industry in Davao. Was am I right? So if that's good, then that will be good news for CLC. Let's see in the coming days if we improve the price action. Yeah, but let's still let's check them out in a while. Patrick Reyes, sir, good morning. Please check for the listed of MRP and City of Dreams PLC. Please check IRC po. NPLC. Um, natagal ko naman sinabi yan eh. If ever mawawala na si MRP, um, the only City of Dreams player na lang natin is PLC. And because PLC bought a lot, a big chunk of MRC, yun yung mangyayari. I did mention that before. And yun, ngayon lang lumabas yung news. But definitely, yes, that's why PLC is going up. That's why I recommended PLC yesterday. Eh, ba? If you can remember, recall my recommendations yesterday, we have a good entry point at MA20. Meron tayong buy signal nga doon. Eh. Sayang, hindi pumasok ang mga tao. That was a very clear signal of it going up. Um, let's talk about that in a while. Um, PLC. Yeah, nandiyan naman sa lista na sa PLC. So, titignan natin yan. Good morning, sir. Uh, this is from Raymar Mariana. PXP po, please. PXP. Good ulit, guys. Mga kakapasok lang. Please share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please hit on the subscribe button. Um, that will, uh, so that you will know whenever a live comes up. Um, babalik ko na naman yung weekends ko, whatever. It's weekend, meron ako mga tutorial guides na i-upload. I'll be reviving that. Um, kasi, uh, yun, um, ha, it, this is fina about financial freedom, yung channel ko. It's not just about stocks. Mainly, it's a, one of good av avenues to become financial freedom is investing in stock exchange. But one of the best, if you don't know this yet, one of the best ways to earn passively is through YouTube. Right, so I'm gonna be inspiring people to start a YouTube channel of their own. I'm gonna be uh, uh e example ko ang YouTube channel ko. Um, my target market, if you know, my target market is only what do you call this one. Percent, di ba? Ang mga tao sa Pilipinas, only 1% or less than 1% is into the stock market. So even if I'm only targeting 1% of the population, um, uh, sneak peek lang ito guys. This is something I'm earning but it's not that much. But I want to show you the possibility of oh, what you can do uh, when it comes to passive income, when it comes to what you call this to um, YouTube, right? So this is my YouTube channel. I'm sharing this with you. So um, this is my earnings in YouTube, guys. Ah, napakalit lang ng target market ko talaga. Less than one percent. But every day I'm earning. I don't know if you can see this. Sa YouTube lang. This is through my videos. But this is ten dollars in a day. Uh, seven dollars around five dollars. So that's how much you can earn in YouTube if you make. A channel that targets many Filipinos, even right. So that's one uh, five dollars uh, average. Ko is around five hundred. Uh, no, hindi, hindi 500, 250, 300 a day. Na wala ang ginagawa, even on a Sunday without doing anything. So I wanna strongly share that opportunity. If you want to be, what they call this? If you want to be able to uh, make uh, you, there's a possibility of making your passion your career and do it in 
uh, do it in YouTube, right? So I, I'm gonna be guiding people into doing that anytime soon. Uh, yeah. So um, just to go back, um, na share ko ba yun? Um, I hope na share ko yung screen ko, right? Anyways, asa na ako? Nawala ako. Um, Olin Quintanar, AGI and Meg po. And si AGI. Let's write down AGI. Right. Omong Volvo, Sir Lloyd, si BDO, um, si Bloom. Ayan, si Bloom and BDO, nasa lista na natin yan. Um, Ems Oribiana, Sir Lloyd, good morning, MBT, JFC, and Bloom. Ayan, nasa lista na may yan. <clears throat> Hop, sir, if you can choose one. <clears throat> BDO or BPI? BDO, um, because BDO is the biggest bank in the Philippines right now. Sila pinakamaraming branches and they they caught the niche of yung mga masa talaga. So, I will pick BDO even more. Kasi ganito yan, mas marami kang banko, mas maraming mag, uh, what they call is, mag save ng pera sa'yo, magde-deposit, di ba? So, the money that they'll be saving, they put it into investments. Right? I tell you, and then, mas maraming taong nag-invest sa inyo, I mean, nag-aano sa inyo, mas malaki ang pwede mong ma-invest. Di ba? So, mas malaki ang kikitain ng banko, uh, the bigger it is. So, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go with BDO or uh, compared to BPI. But as of the moment, si BPI ang may magandang price action. So, um, actually, they both have good price action. I'm just I'm just waiting for really a confirmation kay BDO before I really wanna recommend it again. Glenn Espiritu, ANI, FGEN, PXP, and Wilcon. And ang wala dito sa list ko si FGEN. I've rec I removed FGEN in my pick already because lumilipad ni si FGEN eh. Recommended that last week. Si ANI naman. Let's talk about ANI. Then PXP and Wilcon. Si Wilcon nasa list ko today. It's goodbye for me already si Wilcon. We're gonna discuss that in a while. It's 8.44. Just one more minute uh, para mabasa ko ang mga requests ninyo. Lorelai Calderon. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Tataas po po ba si Web and CLI? Si Web and CLI. Uh, as of the moment, uh, si Web is not showing signs of life. Let me sure. Uh, let me see. Ay, ayun, andun na sa RSI. Yeah. So, there's a big chance that the web is gonna go up, uh, but we can't really tell. Um, We'll talk about that more about that in a while. CLI naman, I'm gonna write down CLI. I just talked to uh, someone who's working, a relative of mine here in Cebu is working in uh, Cebulan Masters. And I tell you guys, ang ganda ng projection nila, billions in the coming five years. So that's a good sign. So that's why I've been recommending CLI. But sadly, the press action is still going down, pa downtrend pa siya. So antayin lang natin yung entry natin. But we're playing at support naman, so that's good. Um, yan, may tanong dito, si Ashton de Guzman, Sir Lloyd WPI po, WPI, let's talk about that. Um, Jay Guevara is asking about MAH. And sir, good morning. Si P, yung PA po, uy, laka, laka ng galaw ni PA kahapon na, eh, ba? Uh, there was a rumor about the Kuya J, um, what they call this, Kuya J backdoor. Uh, possible if mag-backdoor si Kuya J, si PA, ang tatamaan kayo, uma, lumaamaangat si PA. Not sure if that's the reason why, but so far, uh, yun yung na, nasa sagap kong balita eh. Um, but, there's a news that Kuya J is gonna be starting their IPO, of, an IPO of their own anytime soon. So, uh, we can't really tell. So, yes, this is by the rumors and then magsasell on news lang yung mga tao. Uh, Justin Salvador, Maing Bunta, good morning. Roger Aguilar from Singapore. Yan, mga kapatid natin nasa Singapore. Uh, good morning sa inyo. ANI, MPI, and BTO, nasa lista na yan. So, STV Trader, good morning, sir. STI, B Core, yan, si B Core, ang kulungan ng bayan ngayon. Bureau of Corrections na tawag nila dyan. And now, thanks John Johnson. Wait for the possible SRO ni BDO. Uy, may coming SRO pala si BDO. Ayun. So, yeah. That will be best. Uh, let's just wait for the SRO before we really wanna check out the movement of BDO. Noel Siria ka. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Ano po mangyayari sa AGI price sa share buyback nila? Wala pa sa half ang nabili nila. Sell. Uh, shall I sell my stocks now? Thanks for the thoughts about this. Pag share buyback naman kasi, I consider that as good news. Kasi pag binibili nila lang yung shares nila, that means that it's cheap for them. That's why they're buying it now. Kasi bibenta nila 
ibebenta nila ulit yan if ever mamahal na naman sila and they know that they're doing well. Actually, you can see the, the numbers naman it's just that the market sentiment is down. But AGI really is doing good. So if they buy the stocks, then that means na kukunti yung supply and law of supply and demand, naturally, if kukunti yung supply, uh, there's a big chance that tataas yung presyo niya. So yun. Mikey Del Mundo Meg Video BPI. Good morning, sir. Yan. Del Papa TBGI. Yan. Lastly, si TBGI. La- eto last lang muna si TBGI. Lista ko. If ever we still have time, nadaanan natin yan si TBGI. Right. It's 8.48. Bilisan lang natin. So, yan. Let's start. Unahin ko yung list ko. I'm um, not gonna go through deeper sa mga, um, yung mga bagger picks ko kasi I've been sharing this for how many days now. Um, si Or lang. Ayan. Um, I'm gonna, tututukan natin si Or. So, let me share my screen. Ayan. So, let me zoom in para mas makita ninyo yung figures. I think that's okay. Alright. So, now, um, una natin si PSEI. Ayan. Let's talk about PSEI. Pula pa rin kahapon si PSEI but that is still closing on its same price that the other day. Ayan. So, okay pa rin si PSEI. That's, it's forming a support si PSEI. So, that's good for PSEI. Pula nga lang siya. Still, we are below that main support and it's forming a new support right now. Uh, we can't really tell what will happen but the... <coughs> excuse me. Sorry about that. The, but the sell-off is already slow. This is a very small red bar already for PSEI and whenever that happens, nagsa-stabilize, di ba? Pag maliliit yung red bars. So, that's a good sign right there for PSEI. Hopefully, we have a confirmation of a bounce and then it sustains that support. So, dalawang beses na nahit yung support na yan. One more and we have a more or less solid, more solid, ano, more solid support for PSEI. So, that's still looking good. But again, the strategy is stay light. Huwag kayo maglalagay ng malaking pera, especially sa mga blue chips muna. And if it's time to sell, if your stock is in the resistance, like sila Globe, nasa resistance na sila, you can sell half already, right? Just stay light on your feet sa blue chips, right? So now, um, yung bagger picks ko, PHA, kahapon, did gap up. Um, gumalaw ng konti, but that's still a good sign. Um, nahihirapan na siyang mag-break out because we have a resistance right there. But still, that's a good sign. So I'm still recommending PHA buy on the dips habang maaga pa. Maganda ang, um, maganda ang future ni PHA sa uh, Palawan. Same with CPG. We have three red bars right here. So, this is a good sign that we can buy more. Antayin nyo lang. This is the dip that we've been looking for for CPG. Antayin lang natin yung um, green talaga to confirm a buy. But we have a support right here. Dito nagbabounce yung presyo kahapon. Nobody wants to sell at that lower than that price. So, that's a good sign. So, if mag-green to, that's the, uh, that's the buy signal that we're looking for. Pwede kayong mag-test buy na kay CPG at that price. So, that's a good price to get into. MRC naman. Uh, si MRC, we have tatlong pula. But overall, still on an uptrend, right? And we're still above MA20. Antayin lang natin yung green, guys. Huwag kayong magmadali. Because we don't really know if it's gonna go down even further. Um, so, antayin natin yung entry kay MRC if you wanna get in. So, these are the dips that we're looking for for MRC. ISM, we are still at that support. So, that's still okay. The support is a higher support. Uh, buying is going higher. So, nga lang, mahihirapan siyang gumalaw. But yeah, buy on dips lang kay ISM. If you want to get in and you're in it for trading, you can always cut loss below this support if you want to. Right? Um, but yeah, uh, ISM is a buy for me for the reason na marami silang pumapasok na investors. So, they, would ha- they should have presented something good to invite these investors. Si Dennis Uy nasa kay, na kay ISM na and most probably they're planning something big for ISM. I am betting on that. But don't go all in on this because this is speculative si ISM. Unlike sa PHA yung sa CPG, those are better picks. Alright, um, asan ako? ISM. ABBA. Ayan. Si ABBA like food. I'm recommending ABBA. Buy on the dips. We're now at MA20. Fundamentals of this company like food is getting better and better. Right? So, that's why I'm recommending ABBA. Buy on the dips. Nasa dip na naman tayo. Once we see a bounce, you can use MA20 as your support if you're trading this. Right? But yeah, ABBA. I'm recommending ABBA kasi paganda ng paganda ang uh, fundamentals ng company na ito. So, ABBA is still a buy for me. Buy on the dips. RLT. Ayan. Si RLT, yun. So, we are waiting for this stabilization. And now, we're stabilizing already. Um, 
you can use this support as your uh, this price right here as your support if you want to get into RLT. Definitely, RLT has been showing us good numbers second quarter, first quarter, f annual. Yes, last year, ang laki ng gain nila, plus 3,229. So, fundamentals of the company is getting better and then still, napakamura pa ni RLT. So, buy on the dips kay RLT. Next up is or And si or nag-breakout kahapon, pero yan yung sinasabi ko when it's a bearish market, um nagsisell ang mga tao on a breakout. Mga nagbenta dyan is those mga nakapasok dito. But, look at that right there. It's sitting well on the resistance. So, this might confirm a breakout today. Mag -break out, baka mag-breakout na talaga yan. So, um, kay or if ever you're looking for an entry, wait for it to sustain. Yeah, ito yung EOD, end of the day strategy. Uh, wait for it at the end of the day if ever hindi naman malakas yung galaw niya ang pa paakyat. Kasi pag ang problema sa end of the day, baka umakyat na mataas and then wala na. Ang taas na na-risk natin, di ba? So, watch out for the stock. Watch out for your entry. If the end of the day, nag-close siya near the support, then that's good, right? But if mag-arangkada naman yan, pwede yung pasukin ka agad, right? before siya umakit talaga, baka ma-miss yung opportunity. We can't really tell. That's the thing with the market. We can't really tell when it's gonna climb. But look at this right here. MA20, MA20. Napakaganda na maakit niya sa MA20. Or, next up is SSI. Uh, pulahan si SSI. But this is the dips that we are looking for, waiting for. Ayan. So, let's wait for the bounce before we really wanna get in kay SSI. Kasi pag nag-bounce ng higher yan, that will be a higher low right there. So, price action is telling us it's bullish. So, antayin lang natin yung bounce. So, those are my bagger picks. Uh, take note of them, guys. Right. Next up is, yeah, I wanna talk about PLC. And this is, ganito lang naman talaga ang trading. Eh. When you see, uh, you have you put your bias on uh your technical analysis. Then I have been teaching you about Bollinger Bands and this, you know that this is my bias kay Bollinger Bands, right? I've been teaching that for for quite a while now. Saan ko inaantay yung stock? MA20. And it is, it just bounced MA20. Bakit hindi pinasok ng mga traders ito? If you are a good trader, that's a good sign. And PS, PLC is backed up by very good news, di ba? What could go wrong? Di ba? Napakaliit lang. And then you look at your risk, napakaliit lang. 0.01 lang ang support away. And then look at that. Nakasakay sana kayo hanggang 0.96. Laki ng gain kahapon ni PLC before it tried to retrace. And this is a missed opportunity already. Sayang, if hindi nyo pinasok yan. That's trading. You bet on your technical analysis. I'm not saying use my technical analysis. Whatever technical analysis you're comfortable with. Bet on that position. And then, if ever it breaks support, then you just cut your losses. Tingnan nyo si food, di ba? I recommended food sa MA20 dito. Right? I recommended it here. Napakalapit sa MA20. Uh, for a company that has, what they call this? Uh, for a company that has, what they call this? Uh, very good fundamentals. So, that's a good entry right here. Um, give me one minute. May lumabas na news kay PHA. Um, may disclosure that just came out now. Ayan. Uh, so, if you wanna check at that out, ayun. Guys, I wanna share to you this live, di ba? So, on March 20, 2018, the shareholders of Redstone Construction Development RCDC approved the repositioning RC, uh, into its infrastructure company, which will, under this is under PHA, okay? Um, undertake a listing by way of introduction, the repositioning is envisioned to capitalize on the booming construction industry and the bullish infrastructure environment support uh, environment supported by the government's build 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 program on the same date the board of directors of PHA approved the declaration of dividends uh yun, dividends lang in connection with this is dividends the following are significant amendments that made in the articles in the corporation change of name and so the PHA guys Alright, so PHA will be part of the build, build, build now. And this is what I've been telling you the, f the f ilang araw na. Right? That's why I'm recommending PHA. So most probably, this disclosure today, this is dated September 18th. So mm, ngayon lang. Alright, additional provisions, stockholders, increased authorization. Um, yan. Uh, but yeah, this is overall a good, uh, a good sign for PHA because they'll be part of the build, build, build now. And so good job sa mga nakapasok na today. 
Right. So there is uh may parang bad stigma. I um just gonna go back to here. This is my technical analysis, my favorite technical analysis. Hindi ko sinasabing ako ako ang gumawa nito. No. My technical analysis means my the technical analysis that I use. You have your own. Merong MA lang ginagamit, merong Fibonacci ang ginagamit depending on your technical analysis. So my technical analysis is telling me that it's a buy. So I bet on this. If ever it goes down then I just cut my losses, but right on this position, tama ako. So that's just that's trading basically. Bet on the position, bet on your technical analysis. If it goes down, then just cut your losses. If it goes good, then good. Right? Just put a bias on very good fundamentals and then you should be okay. Kahit yung dalawa lang, fundamentals first technical analysis. Then you should be okay with your trading. Right? Just cut your losses if it doesn't go well. And guys, um, si PHA, yun yung... Uh, Good job sa mga nakapasok na. That's one of the reason why I've been recommending PHA sa inyo. Matagal na. So, I think PHA, let's go back to PHA. I think PHA is gonna go do a breakout because of this disclosure. And, um, if ever you wanna enter, let's check your risk. I think medyo malaki-laki na yung risk ninyo kay PHA if you wanna enter here. Uh, the support is 5.72, tolerable. Diba? Okay lang naman with the disclosure and the, uh, and the, ano, and the, what they call this, and the uh, fundamentals of the company. So, I think that's tolerable risk. You can enter this. Most probably, magbabreakout ito. Or you can use a breakout. Yan. You can use a breakout strategy. Pag nag-breakout yan, you can use that as your base. But yeah. You already saw it. I don't want to explain it any further. And meron tayong fear ngayon with the mi mining industry. Uh, Kasi, yun, after the bagyo, ang daming landslide. So, yeah. Uh, check out DAO. Um, meron kasi nagtanong sa akin, Sir Lloyd, ano, ano may hiyari sa mining ngayon? Baka bumagsak kasi yun uh, because of those uh, mga pangit na mga news about the mining causing the landslides and everything. Um, there is a strict law ngayon, which is DAO 2018-2019. Uh, yun yung ano, uh, Yan, uh, tesa lang, taka lang ha. Yan, so, yan yung ano, yan yung bagong law ng Duterte government, President Duterte's administration um, with regards to, ano, uh, to mining and si ore. That's why I'm recommending ore kasi pasado si ore doon. It's a very strict uh, law. So, mahirapan yung ibang mining companies but those without open pit minings uh, like ore and there are others out there, they're, they're gonna be okay. And meron akong insider na naman kay or bago. Meron silang parang acquisition na bago. It's not yet official. I'm gonna be announcing more about it once I get more details. But anyways, going back to the picks. Now, I'm gonna go to the safety picks. Ito yung parang pwede pasukin. Magandang positions ngayon on good companies, right? So, SMPH, yes, we have a good higher low right here. Kaka-bounce lang yan. So, that's a good entry point for SMPH. Nakita nyo naman yan. So, that's your entry point right there. Bakit ninyo pasukin yan? Napaka low risk. We have a support right here. We have secondary support right here which are very near. So, napakaganda na position na yan kay SMPH. Uh, next up is JFC. So, mga baguhan lang. If you're practicing trading, start practicing trading with blue chips. Huwag kayong maiingit sa mga gains doon. Focus on improving your technical analysis, your execution first. With these blue chips, Right. If uh, once you have sharpened your trading skills, especially sa blue chips, blue chips mga lang if natatalo ka ano na kaya dun sa mga ano, di ba? Sa mga uh, second liner na stocks, di ba? So start with blue chips. Second, secondly, JFC, we have a confirmation of a support. Inintay natin yung confirmation kahapon, and there it is after this engulfing candles, uh, candlestick here, di ba? So we're expecting that bounce, and it did bounce yesterday. That's why I recommend the JFC yesterday. That's another buy sign for JFC. ALI then also we have the support I was expecting this green and it did go green yesterday that's our confirmation of a buy and the support for Ayala so that's a buy already for ALI DMW yeah it's in DMW guys ilang araw ko na to nirereko even in the chat room and we have a confirmation of the support we uh even the support is getting higher even palit malit lang but DMW is a very good company this is Support and resistance trading. Basically, very easy technical analysis. Dapat alam ng mga tao ito, di ba? So, that, why don't you get in on a good company on a good position right here? That's a question. Kasi gusto ng mabilis na pera. Don't do that. Bet on good companies with good 
technical analysis. Right now, this is uh, undervalued. The real value of DMW is at 12 pesos, di ba? Napakamura ni DMW ngayon. Good fundamentals, undervalued stocks, plus technical analysis, and then yun yung pinapasok niya dapat. Why not get in DMW, di ba? So if it goes further, then just cut your losses, but DMW is even good for investors, di ba? Ang dami na nga investors dyan, bumili pa lang sa 12 na investor na yun, di ba? So yeah, so DMW is a buy for me already if it's been confirming that support already. Uh, JFC Bell, ay hindi, we've talked about that already. DMW ATN, ito si ATN, there was a question about ATN. So ATN for me is a buy already. Why? We have a good price action here already. Even after Bagyo, it held on to this support right here. So that's a good sign for ATN. Nagdoji lang siya, but the buying is already way above there. So that's a good sign for ATN already. So pwede nang i-buy for me si ATN. Just buy as long as that support holds. Next up kay ATN's SMC. Right, the good companies are here again. MA20. So MA20 bounce, so that's a good sign for me. Pwede nyo i-buy yan. Just cut loss below. Um, below the MA20 line for SMC. Um, next up is Wilcon. Yan. So Wilcon. Yan. We have a good support right here for Wilcon. So you can bet on this support. How strong is this support? Look at this right here. It's uh, dalawa, tatlo, apat, countless, right? For that price already, that's a very good support for me already. You can test buy on this support, and then just cut loss below that support if you want to get in Wilcon. So that's a very good position for Wilcon already. I was just waiting for that confirmation before I'll write it down. But we have that already. Next up is MPI, three white soldiers pattern already for MPI. So this is a good sign. Look at that, MA20 bounces. For, for me, it's a buy, buy as long as that support holds for MPI. So MPI is good for me and rcp eto guys and rcp have been recommending this for how many days now kahapon it already went um again uh umangat na naman siya but i told you before kahapon diba we discussed about this yesterday this is the strategy diba antayin nyo sa ma20 because the price was already around uh, sorry hindi baliktad kasi iba yung presyo pag lumalabas pag baliktad eh. so the price was already 2.06% away uh, from the main support it is already 4.13 so I told you to wait for it at ME20 and then look at that at ME20 nag bounce remember I talked about this yesterday diba? so you try to bargain at ME20 and if you see the bounce pasokin nyo and look at what happened diba? ang ganda ng position but I'm still recommending it now it's still very cheap overall if you use the ME20 as your support so NRCP is still a buy for me um, BPI and si BPI Ay, bakit hindi ko tinanggal si BPI? It broke support, so that's kind of a shaky position. Let me remove BPI. Pasensya na, hindi ko na remove si BPI. SHLPH and SHLPH naman, uh, we were, I did recommend this yesterday and still doing good today. I recommended this because of the support confirmation, which is this one, and we have another confirmation here for SHLPH. So that's a buy for me, then just cut loss below that support. Right, so it's 9.05. Again, um, first, we want to thank our sponsors. Nakalimutan ko. 2Trade Asia, if you're looking for a broker pa, naghahanap pa kayo ng broker, um, check out 2Trade Asia. Right? Um, it's very fast, reliable, meron silang mobile app which will allow you to trade anytime, anywhere. So if you're outside, if you need to sell your stocks or if you need to buy um, a stock, then you can do that. All you need is internet. Kahit data lang. Pwedeng pwedeng na kayo mag-trade. Diba? So that's a very good advantage. So check out 2TradeAsia at 2TradeAsia.com And also, I'm announcing uh, reminders lang guys. I still have a workshop. Hindi ko pa na-upload. Uh, I have a workshop this weekend. If you want to join the workshop, it's a very inexpensive workshop and it's I'm gonna be teaching you everything I know about trading, even mastering your emotions. And dami. I have a course outline available. If you want to ask for that, just let me know. Um, it's a very helpful workshop and it will help the channel in return it's a win-win situation for me and you so if you want to help the channel uh there's a way to help the channel by investing in yourselves join the workshop that is gonna be this friday and saturday at 8 p.m right so please send me a message for you and join that bakolod october 14 tuloy tayo dyan. send me a message if you want to join 
Um, also, Manila. There's a post about the Manila workshop. That's October 20. I'm gonna be there in Manila live. Uh, same module. I'm gonna be teaching you how to trade, how to convert from an investor to a trader properly, which is the most important. This is the uh, foundations of trading that I'll be teaching you. So, napakaganda ng topic na yan. Invest in yourselves. Join the workshops. Um, Itoro, if you want me to handle your uh, your your ports, yan, yung funds ninyo, I can be your fund manager with Itoro. Create an Itoro account using the link on the description of the video and then search for me, El Bazaar, and then you can copy my trades. Pag nag-copy kayo ng trades, whatever I earn, you earn at the same time. I'm gonna be managing your fan funds that way. Right, so that's it. Um, going to your questions, IRC, pwede naman bilhin. Let's talk about IRC. Uh, that, uh, we have a green for IRC here. So that's good, right? I was expecting IRC to go down yesterday and bumaba nga siya, 2.25. And then after that, I guess this is the retracement already for IRC. So that's a good sign for IRC already. So sa last swing niya, let's check their Fibonacci if it's at the, go, uh, if it's at the good price right there. Yeah, nasa 0.618. Very perfect. 0.5, between 0.5 and 0.618 yung boss niya. Well, basically, if you use Fibonacci, these are the areas we are expecting the stock to bounce. And indeed, at that area, nag-bounce si IRC. So that's a good sign. Pwede nyo itest ba yan. And then you can use this as your support right here for IRC. So yeah, IRC is good for me to buy. Kaso nga lang, for me, it's already too high. But you can go, you can ride this uptrend. Never underestimate an uptrend stock. Nangita nyo naman ngayon kay Food, tsaka kay, ano, tsaka kay Ani. Diba si Ani? <clears throat> Never underestimate an uptrend stock, and this stock is on an uptrend, so that will that most probably is your perfect buy position. The best one was right here, kasi well, if you missed that already, you pwede nyo pa rin habulin yan si IRC. Um, just use this area as your support, okay? So that's where IRC. IDC naman, si IDC, ayun, si IDC, after that breakout, it sustained and nagtuloy-tuloy si IDC. Ito yung sinasabi ko, don't ever underestimate a, what they call this, never underestimate a, an, an, an uptrend stock, di ba? So, makit na siya. If you wanna, if gusto nyo mabal pa rin kay IR, IDC, I think this is a missed opportunity. You have to wait for the next retracement before you really wanna enter. Uh, but right now, if you still wanna enter, you can use this line as your support. That was the previous breakout point. That will be your support for IDC. Um, next is CEB. Uy, si CEB na green. So, nag-read si CEB. So, I think this is gonna be stabilizing anytime soon. You can test this out. This is um, the initial support. You can test this out if you want to. Right? So, I think pwede naman. Um, it broke its short downtrend. Yung reversal niya right here. So, hopefully, we can see a reversal. Clearer reversal anytime soon. But you can test out this support right here. Bias loss that support holds for CEB. If you wanna get into CEB. Um, Meg. Yan si Meg. So, Meg, after the engulfing pattern, it's uh, stabilizing right here. Hindi siya nakapag-engulfing talaga with the Bollinger Band. But yeah, Meg, look at this right here. 1, 2, 3, 4. That's a quadruple bottom pattern for Meg. So, sobrang solid na ng support na yan. So, you can test out this support. By as long as this support holds, look at that, what happened yesterday. Nung bumagsak, where, where did it bounce? Sa support. It's still very near support. So, you can test this out at the support if gusto nyo pumasok. So, Meg is okay. But as long as that support holds, if I really I'd wait for one green before I really wanna get, wanna enter. Meg kasi pa, ang lakas ng downtrend ng stock na ito eh. Let's see the downtrend. Malapit na siya mag-break ng downtrend niya eh. So, from here to here. And anytime soon, mag-break na ng downtrend yan. So, Pag nag-break yung downtrend, that will be our entry point. So, I really want to wait for one more confirmation before we can tell that Meg is an entry, uh, is a buy already. That's where Meg, Bloom, eto si Bloom. Sakit ni Bloom. <laughs> right, I had to cut my losses kay Bloom yesterday. Uh, you know my positions, di ba? Nakita nyo may position din ako kay Bloom. When it broke the support, that's already, when it broke the support here, that was already a red flag. So today, uh, yesterday, inabangan ko siya. Nang pula-pula pa siya ay sa, shouted out sa chat room na mag-cut loss na kayo. And indeed, it went down even further. So buti nakapag-cut loss tayo. Um, if you haven't joined the chat room yet, speaking about the chat room, uh, this is the chat room. Just download Discord and go to the uh, go to the what they call this. Go to the uh, link on the video description that says um, 
Discord group and then makakapasok kayo sa chat room na ito. This will be a very helpful chat room uh, for you, especially sa mga newbies. I, I have, uh, I whenever I trade, andun ako sa chat room so that you can consult me and the other traders out there uh, na nasa chat room. Napaka-healthy ng chat room. No, as much as possible, hindi kami mag-hype. Kung may mag-hype man, I send out warnings para hindi na maulit. And then if ever, inagawa pa rin, we have to kick them out. So, yeah, there's purging in the chat room. If you're a newbie and you're looking for a good cop community, join the Billionaires Club and the chat room. Right? So, uh, ako nag-handle ng, mga, ng community na yan. So, I make sure, I see to it na um, walang trolls as much as pos- possible to protect the newbies. So, this will be a very good uh, room for the newbies. Um, going back to the request, it's 9.12. So, meron pa tayong oras. Um, asa na ka? Ako. Okay, win naman. The next request was win. Right? So, win. Uh, win has, uh, it's a good company. Right? Uh, we have good, uh, we have a good, ano, we have good projections kay Win, right? I did recommend Win on this MA20 bounce right here because uh, maganda yung projections nga. I recommended it here at MA20. And look at that. Ang laki ng panalo. Now, it's moving sideways. So, if you are gonna be betting on Win, yes, this is a good support to get into. Overall, Win is a very good company. Right? Maganda ang projection yun si Win. So, you can test buy on this on this right now. So, may, most probably, pag lumabas yung third quarter nila, makikita talaga natin. So, be there while well, hindi pa lumalabas, right? So, yung third quarter earnings, pwede yung lumabas yan anytime soon. Kailangan ulit lalabas yun. Hindi ko pa na, ano, um, when nga ba ulit yun lalabas. But yeah, when the third quarter comes, we can really see the uh, potential of win. And then, pag lumabas yan, most probably, win is gonna go up. And, napakamura pa ni win. Look at the price, 0.315 pa lang. Right, so yeah, I'm recommending win uh, on yes buy as long as the support holds. Oh, okay, naman si win. Um, next up is PLC. Yeah, we talked about PLC earlier, and right now it's a missed opportunity. Let's just wait for our ne- next retracement before we wanna get in. Kaya tinanggal ko si PLC sa list ko. It was there yesterday, kasi panalo na. Um, let's just wait for the retracement before we wanna get in kay PLC. Right, pwede naman kayo mag intraday if gusto niya. You sh- this this are my YouTube intraday signals this is a very good momentum right here pwede nga umakyat today pero kung habol man kayo you'd use an intraday strategy okay hindi ito for position trading anymore because it's already out of position if papasok kayo dyan that's momentum trading already so if uh, you can if magarunong na kayo mag ano mag intraday trade then yeah go ahead check out PLC today for intraday trading um, next up kay PLC is Poppy ayan si Poppy mag doji kahapon Right, but the volume is good. Right? Kapon bumagsak si Poppy, nagka-mentahan, but the buyers know that it's already very cheap kaya nagbinili nila. At yun, nag-recover na naman sa support si Poppy. So, we need further data to really confirm the support. So, konti ingat lang muna kay Poppy, especially sa traders. Huwag nyo muna pasukin. But for me, as an investor, I'm just waiting for a reversal to be able to buy more kay Poppy. Because, I mean, Poppy for long term actually binanta ko si Poppy dito sa taas but um I still am holding on to the other half it broke support but I'm going to be buying more whenever I see a reversal lang kay Poppy so yeah that's for Poppy SDI overall si Poppy is a buy for me it's just that the price action is going down so konti ingat lang muna All right so SDI unlimited bottom yata to si SDI eh. <laughs> right but yeah STIs Buy, sell signal ng sell signal si STI eh. so konti ingat lang muna kay STI pababain natin yan before we really wanna get in uh, maganda naman yung numbers na pinapakita niya it's just that the sentiments somehow are looking bad for STI let me just zoom in sorry about the camera again so yeah um, no entry point pa rin kay STI maganda naman yung RSI niya na so let's just wait for a solid bounce before we really wanna get in kay STI so STI stay away muna Anytime soon, anytime soon. Upo lang muna tayo. Don't do anything yet. Um, next up is BDO. We talked about BDO already. Um, BDO for me is a buy. Right? Just wait for a green one lang talaga before you really wanna get in kay BDO. Right? So, BDO is buy for me. Uh, konting, we need more details lang muna. So, hindi ko la- talaga nilalagay sa list to buy now. 
But BDO is still a buy. Napakaganda ng presyo niya. But for traders, not yet at a good position. Uh, wala pa tayong complete in enough data to really know if it's already a buy. Ito si Vita. Look at this Vita. Bollinger Band is telling us na magsa sideways siya. So this is getting stable. More stable right here. So if you wanna bet on Vita, maganda naman si Vita. So, uh, pwede, nyo, pwede kang bumili dito and then just cut loss below um, the support right there. So, we have initial signs of recovery kay a life kay Vita but right now it's stabilizing at support. So, anytime soon, pwede nyo umakyat. We don't know where or when. So, kasi hindi natin alam kailan, edi lagyan nyo na yan dyan. Right? So, you don't know if today nga aarangkada yan. Eh, diba? So, lagyan nyo na yan. This is similar to IDC. I've been recommending IDC in this kind of position before. Right? Yan yung nangyayari kay IDC, di ba? Look at this right here. Nag-stabilize sa support. Umangkiat. Then, stabilize na naman sa support. Umangkiat ng konti. Nag-stabilize na naman sa support. And before it really went up. This this way, uh, this way stock took 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 surges before really talaga umakyat. So, Vita is doing that slowly. Right? So, Vita, 1 surge. Yan, nag-stabilize na naman. So, you know, this is a very solid support already. So, that's a good entry already for me, for Vita. Right. Just buy as long as the support holds. Next up is Primex. Uh, 918 na guys. So, um, bibilisan ko lang. Primex right now is uh, showing lower highs. So, this is not a good sign for me as of the moment. So, But you ca we have a support right here. If mag-confirm yun na support, pwede nyo i-test yan. Baka mag-consolidate to MA20. You can't really tell if babawaya ba yan sa MA20 or matutulog mo na sa MA20 before it reaches MA20, before really going up. So, you can be aggressive pag nag-green yan, buy, and then gamit nyo as support. Secondary support nyo sa MA20. So, medyo mataas na si Primex. I don't wanna recommend Primex really as of the moment. Um, the I Remember, I recommended Primex here. Right, antayin nyo yung breakout because that's an ascending triangle right there. So, nung nag-breakout siya, very solid bounce ang um, breakout for Primex. So, good job sa mga pumasok noon. Right now, it's still shaky at that position. Still very volatile. I don't like volatile stocks that much. As much as possible, nagpa-position ako sa hindi pa volatile na position before uh, so that you can gain on the volatility when it when it comes. So, X, after this engulfing, um, nag-stabilize lang. Let's just wait for further data before we can really tell if X is gonna be good to get into. Pag nag-stabilize yan dyan, that will be good to go, do good to enter X already. Si, ano naman eh, si RSI is, has already re reached a very low level, so that's a good sign for X. Um, Ang daming nagbitaw kay X. <laughs> Next up is ATN. We talked about ATN already. TBGI. And so TBGI with the disclosure today is that something good, right? Because that tells you that TBGI is cooking something big. Laki ng utangin nila kay, ano, kay ATN for their further developments. So let's see. Uh, we don't have enough details about TBGI yet. So price action niya. Somehow it's forming a support. If mag-green yan, that's that will be confirming a support. Pwede nyo pasukin dyan. Use this as your support right here for TBGI. Right. Next up kay TBGI is uh, TUGS. Ito si TUGS. Right. So, TUGS broke the support again yesterday. So, wala pa tayong enough data. Um, TUGS is still on a downtrend. So, iwas lang muna kay TUGS, right? So, uh, hindi ko ma-plot yung downtrend. Eh. I'll just use MA20 here kay TUGS. Wala pa tayo. So, maybe it's gonna stabilize anytime soon. But you can use MA20 to really know if the trend has been broken. So, iwas na muna kay TUGS. APX, ito si APX. So, APX has, show, has been showing us a downtrend. So, ingat na muna kay APX. If it bounces, then that will be a good higher low signal for APX, right? So, parang ano siya. Uh, it's doing a triangle right here. Let's see what happens here. Pag nag-bounce na yan, that's a higher low. So, that's a good sign for APX. Pwede natin pasukin yan. But right now, wala pa. So, let, wait for the bounce for APX if you wanna get in APX. si now naman, eto. Guys, it's 9.21. Ito yung sinasabi ko, after this engulfing, the price is gonna be stabilizing soon. Right? So, it's now forming stabilization pa. Pero not yet. Wala pa tayong confirmation. We, did, we need further data for the price action to really know if it's a buy already. So, as of the moment, not yet. So, konting iwas lang muna. Upo lang. Just be, uh, just don't be too excited to get in a stock, right? There's money to be made in just sitting down, right? Majority of your actions would be sitting down, so trading, right? So wait for your entry. If you think now is your 
yung manok ni Nyo Sinao. Just wait for your entry. Next up is si Or. Uh, we discussed about Or already. Um, yan. Uh, CLC. Ito, si CLC. Yan. Si CLC, good bounce kay CLC. Um, but we can't really tell if it's already a reversal yet because somehow it's still on a downtrend right here, si CLC. Right? Medyo steep ito. It did si go sideways here. So let's try to use this as our next uh, our main start of the downtrend right here so yeah so more or less ma20 is right ma20 is our what they call this is our resistance right now so if it breaks out ma20 that means that um there's a recovery in clc napaka mura na ng clc as of the moment um pangit nga lang yung earnings niya but uh definitely hindi pa naman pumapasok yung earnings ni clc talaga eh. and dami lang investment sa barko and boats time, ang laki sa investment yan, ilang, or, ilang, ilang taon pa yan before nila marirecover. But once they're recovering from that debt, sa bin, bin, binil, ginamit na pambili ng barko, uh, CLC is gonna shoot up. Right? And then there's good news kay CLC. So, antayin natin. So, huwag kayong magpapaano talaga sa negative nila. They gave us a heads up about that already. Um, so, use MA20. If mabreak niya yan, then that's a reversal for CLC. So, as of the moment, upo lang muna tayo. Stay away lang muna. It's 9.23. Siguro last three stocks, guys. Uh, STR, buy as long as the support holds kay STR. Ulit-ulit naman natin dinadaanan to si STR. Just buy as long as that support holds. If you wanna bet on that support, that's a very solid support right here. Kita nyo naman yan. So, that's a very solid support for STR. So, pag naupo kayo dyan, wag lang kayo mag-all in. Don't go all in para if ever matulog yan, man yan na matagal, hindi matutulog ang pera ninyo na matagal. Right. So, that's for STR. PXP, ito. One of the good questions right here. So, ito yung sinasabi ko. PXP, stay away muna kahapon because the price action is telling us na bababa and bumaba nga. Right? There's a green right there sa MA20. So, that's a good sign. You can use MA20 as your support. That's a bounce actually. Right? So, you can use that as your entry point if ever you wanna get in kay PXP. Use MA20 as your support. Cut loss below that. PXP, uh, buy so as that MA20 holds. Um, AGI AGI ito si Aji and so AGI bumababa na naman so stay away lang muna tayo uh, iwas lang muna tayo iwas sino nga ba yung sinabi kong maganda ang price action na stock yesterday uh, I can't remember let me see sino yun ah si PPG and we talked about PPG yesterday may nagtanong about kay PPG yan this is why I love price action guys um Laki ng panalo ni PPG kahapon. Look at this right here. It's near MA20 already. It's nearing MA20. This stock is on an uptrend, right? And this is the retracement. Look at this right here. Makikita nyo na there's buying here, there's buying here, and there's buying here. Na, to, na, tapos na yung pagbagsak niya. Basically, on the price action. Di ba? So, price action-wise, it's already done. So, that we this is already a buy signal for us. Kahit pula yan, that's a buy signal. And look at what happened. Laki ng panalo ni PP, PPG kahapon because of that. That's 9.14%. Never underestimate a, uh, an uptrend stock. This stock is basically on an uptrend. So, we discussed about this yesterday. Good job sa mga pumasok. Good job sa nagtanong sa akin. I did say it was a buy yesterday. So, yun. Ang laki ng panalo. Alright, so that's per PPG. Uh, it's 9.25, guys. I think I have to stop the program. Ayan. So, thank you so much for ano, um, for participating today. Sa mga hindi ko nasagot, you can send questions over the chat room. Please use the chat. Uh, please join the chat room. Okay? Uh, again, workshops this weekend. Send me a message if you want to join the online workshop. Bacolod, October 14, and Manila on October 20. I'll be there live. Right? So, please send me a message if you want to join that. Uh, again, Stay light sa market. We're still at the support level though. So, that's a good sign. Para hindi pa solid yung support. So, we're not out of the woods yet. Uh, stay light. And, wag mag all in. And that's it for today. See you again tomorrow. And as always, let's get rich together. Bye guys. Oh.